Welcome back to my channel. This is day nine for me of quarantine. Got out of work on the 13th and today is the 23rd. Um, so I have been quarantined since then. Um, but I'm not even gonna hold you all year. I've been begging for a break and now sis got it. So, um, so basically all of our classes are online, gone to remote learning. And so everything we have is online. They've already announced that remote learning is gonna be through the end of the semester. So everything is basically like canceled for school. But work, they are taking their sweet time to announce this. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen today that basically kids aren't going back to school. So I think that call or that, meeting is going to happen at either 11 or 2 but yeah so you can just come along with me during this quarantine you don't got nothing else to do you don't got nothing else to do what's up y'all it's been a few days since i picked this camera back up it was really cold for like three days and like rainy so i didn't get to go outside today's the first day i got up and um walked coco so we walked around the neighborhood, that was about two miles. And then now I'm headed to the grocery store because I need to get some stuff in. Plus I just wanted to get out the house because quarantine. So I'm gonna go to the grocery store and see if I could find some, um, I don't even know. I know I need to get some more fruit because I'm running out of fruit and salad and some dairy-free yogurt. And I want to try this banana pudding recipe and I'm going to try to make it dairy free. <laughs> so, yeah, that's about my life. I ended up having to take two midterms um, this week also, which is another reason I didn't pick up the camera because I didn't know that my phone stopped recording. But anyway, I had two midterms, which is another reason why I didn't pick up the camera because I I had to get those midterms out the way and literally that was literally like all day Wednesday like Tuesday and Wednesday I think it was Tuesday and so um, I took my legal and ethics midterm on Tuesday my multicultural midterm on Wednesday which was the longest midterm literally it took me like four hours to do this midterm and it's that was that's ridiculous at two o'clock I started the midterm and I swear like I didn't finish it until like 6 40 after I submitted my midterm I had my multicultural class which, uh, I mean, my group counseling class, which that took, I mean, the regular, maybe an hour and a half it took, but that was at like, so maybe I finished that at like nine. And then after that, I had to do the discussion questions for my legal and ethics class. So that day, that, that day was literally, it, it, it took me. I'm on my way to the grocery store and then I need to start working on this presentation thing that I have to do from my multicultural class. So yeah, come to me with me to the grocery store. Y'all, I'm driving and there are so many people out. Like so many, so many. And I'm just not understanding, isn't the goal to get rid of COVID? Go, home. like, it looks like they're like, nothing's happening. That's how deep, like, people are out here, deep. 
<laughs> and okay, like I get it. We, I mean, we gotta go to the store, but like all these people that once had to go to the store, nah fam, y'all just been out. We ain't getting rid of COVID. Y'all, I'm in the grocery store. In the pot, I have chopped spinach, onion, mushroom, garlic, and then I added three tablespoons of this vegetable broth. And then I'm gonna let this simmer a little bit more. And then I'm gonna add in this dairy-free mushroom ravioli that I got from Mom's Whole Foods. And I'm gonna put a cup of water in here with the mushroom and then add the broccoli and then let that cook for like three or four minutes. And then, I'll be back. to broil this and then really quickly I'm gonna put some flour and cornstarch in here to make this a thicker sauce. I don't know why it came out so thin this time. Oh 
this is quarantine day who knows at this point like but this morning i wanted to make some french toast so i decided to come up here and use the just egg and make some french toast this is my first time doing this i've never done this before but i put some of it in a plate and put some cinnamon and nutmeg and mixed it around and now i have it on the frying pan and it looks pretty good and then i'm also making a broccoli and green pepper omelet so i'm gonna show you guys how this turns out where's my spatula Take a little bit of the just egg, you know, like that much. And then since it's already simmered in there, I'm just going to and then I'm gonna take the bread and just swoop it around like this. so much for watching and subscribing i just wanted to come on here real quick and say thank you and keep watching my videos please 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 i know that i've been gone for so long but literally work and school and now that everything is online with this quarantine um, i'm trying to find a groove and and everything and just to stay positive since we're in this quarantine you know stuck in the house like i'm just trying to stay mentally prepared and like mentally stable and um i just wanted to say thank you for subscribing because since this quarantine has started i've probably got at least like 100 subscribers keep washing your hands keep staying safe keep wearing your mask and keep social distancing i'll see you guys in